Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how to debug the release mode or production code DLL or EXE in .NET. First we go to the program. Open the Visual Studio, go to the file, new project. Create a console project. and give the name as release mode debugging create it now we are going to debug the corresponding exe or dll in release mode so now it's creating the project for us it's creating the project add a new item and name it class as customer public class customer add two properties and one method uh, normally int property and string property id and string string property and name property now we'll uh, now we'll add the one more method which is public string get full name string full name is equal to dollar of id comma colon name in this method i'm going to return the full name as concatenation of id and name then full name okay now the method is ready now we are going to call this uh, class object call this method from the main program customers obj1 equal to new customers id equal to 1 and name equal to google you have created one object customer object now we are going to call this method object one dot get full name and save this in a variable now print this in console console dot write line full name Order full name colon full name. Now we print the full name, then console dot read. That's it, guys. We created a program now. I'm going to build this in release mode. When you are building a project in a release mode, the exe or DLL which is generated doesn't have the PDP symbols. So normally we can't able to debug once it is deployed in the production server or any UAT server. Now we are going to show you how to debug these release mode DLLs or exe in production. So let me go to a location where the project has the release mode bin bin release mode okay this is the exe we are going to debug it this is in release mode control copy for this we have to download one more exe go to the google and search for dnspy 
download once you search this you will get a github repository for that go to the github repository and scroll down and download the dnspy.net because our project is .net if you are using the .net code then you download the dnspy.net code for 32 or 64 so for our case which enough dnspy.net for 72 it's already downloaded so I am placing it in one folder so I am I already extracted that exe so go to that folder here dnspy minus iphone x86 exe launch this once you launch this screen will appear now go to the now go to the debug start debugging here browse the path where you have the list mode exe I am giving the path this is the exe which is in release mode we are going to debug open it and select the break at at entry point now click ok if you see the code is deassembled and it's written the entry point so now we are going to debug press F10 and see the value in the locals full name got one colon gokul see it's like this only we are going we have to debug the release mode uh, exes are dln if you see the output it is there that's it guys like this only we have to debug the release mode DLL or exe in the production if you like this video please share with your friends give likes and comments please click the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get the latest technical videos which are uploaded by us.